Capricorn. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 10th to the 16th of July 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Just about drop them all there. <laughs> So you get the full moon in Pisces, balanced spirituality and practicality. Someone had this earlier, I said, keep the faith, but keep it real. And the new moon, I think they had this together, a new start is coming. So yeah, a new start is coming, just keep the faith, keep it real and let this new chapter begin. Capricorn, love that. just made my candle really <coughs> flicker there okay so 10th to the 16th of July 2023 clear messages from spirit please for Capricorn Overall, Ace of Cups, new chapter when it comes to love. This may be a job you love, a home you love, it may be love love, it may be a pregnancy or birth, marriage proposal, moving in together, as I say, meeting somebody brand new. There is a new beginning, there is a new start coming and it does involve love of some sort. Monday. Starting the week, some sort of emotional detachment, um, walking away from something, someone, somewhere that does hold you back here. This may be also someone walking away from you, I always say thinking the grass is greener on the other side, but when they get there it's not that green at all. This is about some sort of detachment that is happening here in order for this new chapter to get underway. Tuesday, judgment. Don't judge others, don't let others judge you. Keep an open mind about where this new start and um, is taking you from start to finish. It is about the planning that's put in place. Again, keeping the faith, keeping it real, but keeping an open mind as to how to get those results. Wednesday, temperance. Going with the flow, not forcing the issue. May have connection to a Sagittarius. This is about like if, if there's a dam and the water's building up and building up and then it gives way and it's all like white water rafting, I usually say. This is about just letting things settle, just going with the flow of this journey. Thursday, transition. May have connection to Scorpio. Closing the past off and then focusing on this new chapter. Exactly what this detachment is happening here. And then you can focus on the new start that is com coming. That involves love. Okay, into Friday, Capricorn. Seven of Wands. Persistence, not giving up, not quitting. Maybe not quitting on love, but again, it still may be a job you love, a home you love. Somebody is digging their heels in, somebody is not giving up, somebody is not quitting, and um, maybe not quitting on yourself in here, but there is that persistence. I love the Seven of Wands. <laughs> Saturday, King of Wands. That persistence pays off and it pays off big time and it pays off very quickly. Abundance, getting control of finances, things start falling into place around home and family life, around work, around love. It's all falling into place and this new journey is off to a promising start. Then you come Sunday, Capricorn, Nine of Swords, stress, sleepless nights, overthinking of things, almost is it too good to be true because it happened all so well so quickly, but this is about still this new chapter, this new journey, not letting that get on top of you because things promise with some faith and some reality, keeping things real or reality, things do promise to get off to a very good start. Brilliant, love that. So Capricorn, let's clarify everything, starting with the Ace of Cups overall for the week. 
We get the Lovers, Knight of Swords, Six of Cups. This may be a new cycle, but it may be a reconciliation of some sort when it comes to love. Soulmate Twin Flame, somebody significant, may have connection to a Gemini, but it's saying slow down, don't rush into things. Others of you, it may be a past that you're not wanting to repeat that kind of pattern, but ultimately there may also be somebody significant by your side as this new chapter gets underway, and it may start to... As that chapter moves forward, this past may get further back um, if it's a past that you are not wanting to take on that journey with you. Eight of Cups, Monday. Seven of Cups, Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords. Definitely a new start happening, a fresh new start. Um, as we said, maybe a reconciliation, maybe a job you once worked at, a hometown you once lived in. As I said, maybe love you once um, had in the past coming back around here. But this is all about a fresh new start. Clearing the crap out from the past. This is that whole detachment that's happening. And you are able to focus on this new cycle. You do have your eyes set on the prize, I'm going to say. But um, still be aware that there's always options around you. And you go into judgment where it is keeping an open mind towards what each option has. Tuesday, judgment, you get Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups, Six of Swords. So many aces already. There's a new start on, or a new start is coming on its way. But um, you are starting to put some solid plans into place to get things moving forward and on this whole new journey here. Um, very logical. Your emotions are in check, you're emotionally stable and able to make clear decisions and keep an open mind towards where this journey is taking you. Temperance, Wednesday, Two of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Death, and we go into transition next, double dose close there same energies but may have connection to a Scorpio but Capricorn a bit of confusion over which direction to take and this is again not letting things build up and build up and build up you've been felt like you've been left out in the cold previously and this is about now this new cycle this new start that is coming and that may be um, a whole new start towards something more pleasant a lot warmer a lot happier um, out of the cold into the warm as you close some sort of past off and focus on the journey ahead. So I say you may have connection to Scorpio as you head into transition, same energy on Thursday. The full, the moon, nine of pentacles. You may have connection to Pisces here when things are a bit darker and grayer. This moon is giving you all the clarity that you need to see very clearly what each path has for you. This new journey that lies ahead, I feel like it's a bit of a leap of faith that you are taking towards getting this journey underway, but ultimately once that step is taken, that success does start to roll in. Love that. Capricorn, Friday, Seven of Wands, yet Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Four of Swords. It does take a lot of hard work to keep things on track, especially with that sheer persistence and not giving up and not quitting, no matter how much hard work you have to put in. But don't get to the burnout stage. If you need to take time out for yourself or to do some healing, to take time to breathe, as I say, then it's a big deal to say, I just need some space here. But um, with that persistence, as well as that healing, I feel like you come out of this raring to go emotional happiness and contentment is right there and watch that sudden success come your way king of pentacles capricorn three of wands is what flew out there princess of pentacles strength feel like yeah you start to see the bigger picture see a situation for what it really is someone for who they really are whether it's in a negative way or a positive way i actually feel like that is the sudden success that you do have. There is an offer being made, um, put to you, whether it's a job offer, an offer on a home, an offer of love. It's taking a lot of strength to look at this offer carefully. 
Now I'm saying, if it's a legal document, read the fine print, but that's why that Three of Wands is there as well, to give you that extra clarity and that extra strength to look at the offer in its full entirety. And Sunday, Capricorn, Nine of Swords, the Tower, Eight of Wands, Temperance. You may need a tower moment um, as some things do get built up here. You may need a tower moment to let the dust settle and then to build something solid from the ground up, but seeing the bigger picture once the dust has settled, as we mentioned. Communication. If there's two of you around whatever this offer is even, make sure you do get the full story. Make sure you are on the same page and those lines of communication are open. Are opening? Open. <laughs> but this is just about going with the flow, not forcing the issue and not letting that stress or self-doubt get on top of you. Oops, no, first we have what the universe says. Capricorn, getting carried away there. Four of Pentacles, the Hermit, Six of Cups. May have connection to Virgo here. There is still something from the past that you feel unable to release. Whether it's a it's, um, separation, there's children involved, there's always going to have a tie to someone. Whether it's a job you're trying to break free from, um, or a home that you're trying to buy and you've got to sell yours first, etc. It is something from the past that's keeping you stuck and bound um in one place for longer than it should and this is just your moment to do that healing to do some soul searching to keep the faith to keep things real but to see light at the end of the tunnel because that new start is coming one way or the other so capricorn you get number 25 the temple home i no longer search outside of myself for home i love that because home is where the heart is, here. Star words, lost, found, balanced. Take it or reassures you that you do not need to seek outside yourself to find happiness, peace or refuge. Go within and find your inner sanctuary to feel centered and at home. Be mindful of where you may be placing conditions on your happiness. A different location or another person cannot complete you because you are already whole. Desperately searching for a new home, workplace or lover to complete you is giving your power away. Happiness is an inside job. Find happiness in the sacred now by discovering your inner temple. Love that. So Capricorn, that is what I have for the week. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time. See ya. Bye.